Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I wanted to talk less about the Reds series uh, loss to the Cardinals and more about how I feel that the Reds have now officially wasted the prime years of Joey Votto's career. Uh, I love Votto. He might be my favorite player of all time. Obviously he's not what he once was. I don't know why people are surprised by it. You know, it is what it is. He's gonna be 36. Um, but with that said, with the Reds uh, seemingly in this um, holding pattern of constant losing, I look back on when he signed that long-term deal, and it's just amazing to me that they didn't use that period of time to try to build up and go for it. And maybe on the back half, you know, if they wanted to rebuild or whatever, maybe the back half of his career would have been uh, a time to do so. It's just strange to me. They signed their cornerstone player, their building block, maybe arguably their, their best hitter of all time, and they choose that time period to rebuild. Obviously the rebuild uh, has been botched, wasn't done very well, so what you have is you have a peak Joey Votto still doing his thing, and you trot out guys like John Lamb, Brandon Finnegan, the ancient Bronson Arroyo, Sal Romano, the list goes on and on. And if the Reds were really serious about rebuilding back then, why didn't they just trade him? I mean, yes, he's making a lot of money, but they probably could have made it work. Maybe even done him a favor, get him on a better team. Instead, uh, he put up these amazing performances in the face of 90 lost seasons, and now that the Reds are quote-unquote trying to do something, which obviously that's not working either, Fado has declined, he's not what he once was, and so what happens now going forward? Uh, I keep hearing uh, people say, well, maybe the Reds can try to compete next year. They're done with a full-scale rebuild. That's going to be harder to do with a 36, 37-year-old Joey Votto. Um, so really, at the end of the day, the Reds, um, Votto's career was, in a sense, wasted. The, not, not the individual talent. Uh, Votto maximized his talent and everything he had to do out there. Uh, he should be in the Hall of Fame someday. Like I said, my favorite player. But the Reds chose to use his prime years to attempt a botched rebuild. And now that they wanted to win this year and assuming, assuming next year, uh, he's older now. And so it really just didn't make sense. And it's just another example of why the Reds are in this position. Uh, they just They don't make good decisions at the right time. So yeah, anyway, I wanted to give some of my thoughts about that. And, you know, I'm pretty frustrated as many of you guys are as well. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.